I think for firefighters, FirstNet has a unique ability to try to solve one of the most important challenges in communications for first responders and firefighters specifically, which is solving the Z-access problem. Having the ability in high-rise buildings or even in smaller commercial buildings to understand what floor of a structure is a firefighter on. This is absolutely critical when you're trying to rescue a downed firefighter. It's also critical as you're searching for, for occupants of a home or a building. Um, having the ability to understand not just where somebody is from an X and Y axis perspective, uh, a GPS coordinate, but also understanding from an elevation standpoint where they are is a life-saving tool that firefighters have been asking for. It's something that we're working very closely with our PSCR partners out in Boulder, um, as well as really working with industry to try to make sure that this important critical need for firefighters is solved. Another unique instance, I think, for firefighters is having the ability to, to send data that could be life-saving for the firefighters themselves. Um, today, firefighters use um, air packs so that they can breathe inside of a difficult environment. Having the understanding and, and up to the minute or up to the second information on exactly how much air they have left on their key vital signs. Firefighters are under tremendous stress when they're in a hot building and putting out a fire for an extended period of time and having the ability to have key things like heart rate or looking for arrhythmias or things like that that could occur under this intense stress is something where I think the Internet of Things uh, really could be a huge difference for firefighters and their well-being in their job every day.